In this episode of No Tears Frontiers, we ride through the back roads of South Africa's wild coast. When people told us that there's a place in the Eastern Cape that was one of South Africa's last stretches of wilderness, we just knew we had to go. It's called the Bavians, and it did not disappoint. If you want it, you have it, you love it, you know it, when you get it, you can share it, let them know what they will be. I'm from so The roads here were not for the faint of heart. I'm from so Whenever it rains, huge sections of it have the potential of being flooded out. It took us two days to get through it all, and I'm happy to say, despite all the difficulties, I didn't drop the bike once. Bavian's kloof means baboon ravine, and we did see baboons there. These strips of concrete may have been great for four wheels, but they just made things a lot harder on a motorcycle. Overall, the roads in the Bavians were a fun challenge, and the scenery was amazing. We then met our friend Piet in Jeffreys Bay, where we had the opportunity to temporarily trade in our 150 horsepower for one. I love horses and had never ridden on the beach before, so this ride was very special for me. But then we were off again. Piet wanted to show us where he grew up. It was in an area of South Africa that not a lot of people visit, called the Transkei, also known as the Wild Coast. The coastline there was exactly what you'd expect from a place called the Wild Coast. It was rugged and it was beautiful. Some of the roads were a little difficult. 
How and why we got stuck in that rut, I have no idea. From Coffee Bay, we headed to a camp at Mboiki, where we were meeting more friends. We met up with Jan and fellow motorcycle traveler Emiliano. Yep, that hill's as steep as it looks. After four wheel driving around, we got on our bikes to have more back road adventures. And these roads were, well, some of them were not even roads. And we had a few bike issues along the way. Like when Jan, in his half-naked state, tried to get Emiliano's bike to start. Which it did. But in the end, it was all worth it. In our next episode, we'll be heading to the kingdom in the sky, Lesotho. So chill to the next episode. Ha, 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 ha,